Hey guys, I just wanted to share a video really quick. Um, I discovered something the other day and I think it's worth sharing. I did not know this about this. So if you buy a DJI, you might worry, how do I fly this thing? I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to crash and I'm gonna, I don't really have that much experience, um, depending on what type of pilot you are. If you're a newbie, I found something that's great for this. Um, actually, the Phantom itself and the application comes with an actual simulator. And what that means is you use the, the same app that they give you and you can pretend to fly the the, uh, the DJI Phantom in a simulated mode, kind of like a flight simulator. If anyone's familiar with that, when Microsoft came with them out with them a, a few uh, years ago, and they really supported it, which they don't do anymore. <laughs> See that face for me since I bought all these joysticks. Anyways, you actually have to have the Phantom on and the controller hooked up. You pretty much just like you are simulating the actual flight. I don't have the props on because we obviously don't need them for a simulator. So let's just put on the Phantom here. Let's get that started. And then we'll get actually get the actual controller set up too. So here, now normally when you, the, um, the aircraft's connected here, we would hit this camera button here and we actually go into the drone. But we wanna do that in the top right corner here. We'll click this little box icon and it gives us some uh, options here. And right here, not too obvious, but here's a simulator. I mean, now it's obvious when you're in the screen, but before all this, I didn't actually notice. So now, So now it acts like just like we're actually flying the actual thing, and that's pretty cool. So now we're gonna pretend to fly it like we actually would, and we'd start it up by holding the controls down, and now I see the motors turn off, and then it interacts like we're actually doing this in real life. So we give a throttle. Now I will say that it, the simulator isn't the greatest, but it's better than, I mean, it's pretty good actually. I mean, yeah, it might be better than nothing, but it's pretty delayed. Like, I'm giving it a right stick here, I let go, and then it kind of the input the, the inputs a little bit delayed as well. So left stick, I let go. Okay, I'll give it forward stick, and I let go. So it's kind of hard to be pretty precise. See, um, but another thing is it does give you perspective, so you can change. So you can say in third third person, which you would never fly because not right now. There's no feature that would enable that. But you can do first person view like you normally would in the app, and then. It is kind of a little, again, a little delayed. Like I was trying to land on this home point. I'm not a terrible pilot, but it's just kind of hard to, to predict those inputs and get used to it. Like I have to make small changes at a time here. You can hear me on the controllers. And then I could just land it. And then you kind of get used to it. So yeah, I highly recommend this. You can play around with it. Um, it literally is a good trainer so that you don't just go out there and just fly right away and get blown away by all these yeah, um, these scenarios that you don't anticipate because you just have lack of experience. So this is a great way to get started and learn. Thanks for watching.